Never waste a good crisis. And when it comes to the economic crisis, don't waste it when it, it can have a very positive impact. You never want a serious crisis to go to waste. The way we're going to win over the long term is not just militarily. We've got to win over uh, hearts and minds. And what that means is we've got to invest in countries that uh, have no educational infrastructure and have no uh, means for young people to, to get ahead. We've got to give them a stake in creating the kind of uh, uh, world order that I think all of us would like to see. Stay tuned for Politics and Religion. Very important headline today, the United States successfully tested an airborne laser. Uh, this was a very interesting story from Reuters, actually, today. A U.S. high-powered airborne laser weapon shot down a ballistic missile in the first successful test of a futuristic directed energy weapon, the U.S. Missile Defense Agency said uh, today, Friday. Uh, the Missile Defense Agency demonstrated the potential use of directed energy to defend against ballistic missiles when the airborne laser test bed successfully destroyed a boosting ballistic missile, the agency said. The high-powered airborne laser system is being developed by Boeing Company, uh, the prime contractor, and the U.S. Missile Defense Agency. Agency. Now you have to realize how critical this is. We're talking about laser beams, much cheaper than anti-missile defense systems, and I suppose potentially more accurate. And so this announcement that this has been successfully tested could change the face of warfare and the balance of power in our world. I do not know whether Russia or China has this kind of a weapon, but uh, this is the first that I have heard that it has been successfully tested. The story goes on to say, this was the first directed energy lethal intercept demonstration against a liquid fuel boosting ballistic missile target from an airborne platform, the agency stated. The plane's battle management system issued engagement and target location instructions to the laser's fire control system, which tracked the target and fired a test laser at the missile. Instruments on the missile verified the system had hit the mark, Boeing said. Now, if you were sitting in Iran right now or in Russia or in China and you read this story, what's the impact? The reason I bring this up on a religious prophecy program is because there's a Bible prophecy that says there's a war coming that's going to kill one-third of the human race. Uh, this story today has everything to do with that. We know we've recently moved ships into the Persian Gulf to let Iran know if you continue to resist the will of the international community and you continue to pursue nuclear technology, uh, then we don't intend to forever sit idly by. And now we do, do not know from the prophecies exactly where the war that will kill one-third of mankind uh, proceeds from. We know it starts from the area of Euphrates River, and that actually was where the war on terror was initiated from back in 2003 when we invaded Iraq. Uh, so it, the war on terror continues. It's now spilled over into Afghanistan. Afghanistan. Uh, we recently had three soldiers killed in Pakistan. We're not even supposed to be in Pakistan. And yet here we are. Uh, these three soldiers were killed. They're operating inside of Pakistan. We also now have recently sent missiles to several of the countries surrounding Iran. Uh, so the pot is brewing. I certainly wish it would wait a long, long time because the devastation is going to be Absolutely horrific. But this news today that we actually do have a laser beam missiles that can pick uh, incoming missiles out of the sky is astounding to say the least. The story goes on to say the airborne laser weapon is aimed at deterring enemy missile attacks and providing the U.S. military with the ability to engage all classes of ballistic missiles at, at the speed of light. Are you listening to this? at the speed of light, 
while they are in the boost phase of flight. The revolutionary use of directed energy is very attractive for missile defense with the potential to attack multiple targets at the speed of light at a range of hundreds of kilometers or miles and at a low cost per intercept attempt compared to current technologies, the U.S. Missile Defense Agency said. So a huge uh, development here in the military sphere, and we know that this war is coming. It's not going to be avoided. It's prophesied in the Bible. Uh, The prophecies come to pass 100% of the time. The only question is when and who will be the participants who will be the victor, and how will it, it will impact both the United States and our entire world. Sobering, sobering questions at this time, uh, this crossroads of prophetic fulfillment, but a very interesting story in that regards, nonetheless. <laughs> 